Hey everyone, good morning. Um, it's Sunday, and I know that I have not posted in the um, Google Classroom for you know the West Hill Teachers for eLearning Google Classroom for a little bit of time here. So um, I planned on or I plan on uh, posting this video after I uh, make it. Um, and I'm going to focus on, it's not going to be very, it's not going to be very long, this video. It, this video is going to be focused on the um, PD that I was part of last week. Um, and I actually did my professional development on Google Meet. So this is the URL right here to the video, which I'll post as well inside that Google Classroom, um, the West Hill Teachers for eLearning. Okay. Uh, so I'll put this video up there. I'll put the little, the URL to this um, uh Actually, I don't need to put the URL because I'm going to put the Google Slideshow. So why don't I do that instead? But yeah, so last week I did a um, professional de development for um, as a part of <coughs> as a part of the Stanford Public Schools Wednesday like half day thing, whatever, and. Like I said, I focus the uh, professional development on Google Meet, so some of the features in there. So um, obviously, this is this is me here. Okay, uh, this is where I learned um, a lot of the stuff about Google for Education is right on the uh, Teacher Center training page. Um, they have a lot of the good stuff there, where they do uh, free training and certification and some other resources. Um, oh, we don't need that because that was the format of the session. Uh, so to do a Google Meet, okay, something that I showed people um, last week is if you have a lot of different options as to uh, how you start a Google Meet. So you can go to meet.google.com and then um, you can also, if you're logged in to your Google account up here, okay, and obviously make sure that you're logged into the Google account that you want to be logged into when you use it, all right? So once you're logged in, and I'm using a Chromebook, so um, the login looks maybe a, a little bit differently, okay? But I'm, I'm making sure that I'm logged in here, and then you can also you can go to this. If you don't want to go to meet.google.com, you can do that. You could also just click on this Rubik's cube here, okay? So this Rubik's cube, and that's where you have the uh, that's where you have some of these apps that you have uh, connected to your account, okay? So you can, guys, you can also change these. You can change these around, all right? Uh, um, you can, you know, add and take away whatever uh, these apps over here, okay? But there's a bunch of different ones that uh, Stanford Public Schools has curated from the available apps out there that you can just basically, uh, you know, add to your Stanford Public Schools account if you want to. I put actually, um, if you notice, I put Google Meet up here, um, uh, close to all the the other stuff that I use, like Gmail and Drive and, and Google Classroom. Okay, um, so that's another way to get to it. All right, uh, here we go. So some of the basics um, when we go into present mode, okay, uh, record and change the layout and the captions and the settings in the chat. All right. I actually, this is a pre-recorded session in here, right inside this little, right inside this Google Slideshow um, presentation or Google Slides presentation. This is a pre-recorded thing, so this little video stays is kind of stays within um, my slide, okay? And it tells you how to use these basic functions because um, obviously. Uh, Actually, no, I can show you that. Do go present mode and all this stuff, other things. Okay, so let's just go that real quick. Let's go to meet.google.com. And once again, when you go into it, uh, you want to make sure that you're in the account that you want to be in. Okay, let's see if we can switch to the Stanford Public Schools account. There we go. And you're going to click on. Um, now it's going real slow today, very slowly. Okay. You can click on join or start a meeting. Okay, this is one way, like I said, this is one way to, to uh, start a meeting. Okay, join, start, click continue. Okay. 
and then it's going to come up with another video. So we're going to have multiple videos going on at the same time. Um, there we go. Okay. So you have some of the meeting information here. Okay. You can click on join now. Okay. Um, add others. Oh, I don't want to do that. So here we go. Here's my, here's all this stuff. Okay. Now, once you get in here, all right, you can click here. You can go to meeting details. You can copy it. Okay. This is the URL if you want other people to join, right, right here, or this is the dial in at the bottom underneath that. Okay. So you have, you have all those options. And then, um, if you, when you're in here and you're actually not, you're, you're not doing the, um, no, what am I talking about? <laughs> when, when you're in here and you're doing the Google Meet, okay, you can always click on this. You, this is how you mute, okay, turn off the microphone. This is how you leave the call. This is how you turn off your camera, okay? What I was going to say before is that this will tend to go away, okay, once other people are in here, this little bottom. But you can always just hover down, hover down here, and you can get it back, okay? So that's one way. And turn on the captions, okay, if you want that. You can click on present now. Let me now let me show you what that looks like. If you click on present now, oh look at this. That's cool. They finally added this little tab here. Oh god, wow, you guys are getting my whole head and face today. Um so when you click on present now, okay, you can click you can either choose to present your entire screen, a window, okay, a chrome or a chrome tab. And this is something new. I actually wasn't there the other day, um, but this is something new that is that it says is best for video and animation. So if you're doing like a live stream and, and things like that, that's probably the best option here. Okay. So if that's what you, um, that's pretty neat that they they do that. Google does this all the time where they like they have rolling um, updates, so we don't get everything, and not everybody gets everything at the same time because I would just like bog down their servers, but. It's all good. Okay, so once again, and when you're in here, this this whole bottom thing is probably going to disappear. So um, just understand that it's uh, it will reappear if you hover over here. Okay, so this is present now. What, watch what happens if I click on present my entire screen. Okay, this pops up now. You can't click on share yet. What you have to do is you have to click on this. You have to click. Okay. It, Google and this app want to make sure that you're aware of what you're what you're sharing basically. So when you like I said, when you click on present now and you click what you want to present, okay, let me click on actually a Chrome tab. Oh boy, <laughs> it's gonna give all that stuff. Um, actually, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my entire screen. Click there, click there. Okay. Once again, you have to you have to click again to. Sh sh uh, tell the app exactly what you want to share and then you click on share okay i'm not going to do that because i'm just making this video here so then you can also uh record the meeting this is a free basically if you look at it this way it's a free video recorder okay um it's a free video recorder that you can use to record your screen if you do your own uh, you don't have to have it have anybody in the meeting with you at all um, where does the recording go? The recording actually goes in a folder. Okay. The recordings are saved obviously because it's a recording. The recordings are saved into a folder in your drive that, uh, is automatically created. So I actually put it in my West Hill folder here. Okay. Wow. Everything's going so slowly today. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I got too many tabs open. Probably should shut some tabs. Um, it creates this folder right here. It's called it's called Meet Recordings. Okay, so you don't have to when you choose when you choose to record a meeting, you do not have to create a, a a folder. A folder will be automatically created for you in your Google Drive, and it's called Meet Recordings. Okay, if you have a conversation during if you have a conversation in the chat. Okay, which is over here, 
Okay, you can you can talk in this chat all your um, all the people that are in the meeting can can chat. Um, so if you're in here and you you know talk to people, uh, say hi. This is me. Okay, that also gets downloaded. It gets downloaded as a text file. Okay, good. So you get the you get the video recording here and you get the text file of the, um, <laughs> hi buddy. Okay. It's a text file as well. All right. Which is pretty cool. Uh, of the Google meet, uh, um, session. Okay. So, so that's pretty cool. Okay. So once again, if you get in here and that's how you chat, you click over here, you can get back to the full screen. Um, this little this little section over here, once again, is probably gonna go away. Just hover over here, you get it back. Okay, you hover down on the bottom of the screen, you get it back. Um, this part has this little section over here with the, the snowman, as some people call it, okay? Has all these different options, record, change layout, full screen, turn on captions, setting, all that stuff. You guys can play around with that. Um, all you want okay uh up here you can see your participants you can add people so you can just put their email in there all right okay and just add people actually i add i add a lot of students in real time it's just i mean i set up <laughs> i set up the meeting in google classroom i set up the meeting on google calendar for my classes and still uh, the best way to get students in here is just to, while you're in the meeting, um, just click on add people and then add their, uh, their email address right in there. Okay. Um, you can see some other stuff in here that I actually added myself. So this is, this is something here. Okay. Um, this is called uh, grid view and it's found in the Chrome web store, the Google meet grid view. Okay. It's found in the Chrome web store. And this is actually nod uh, notifications. Students can raise their hand. Okay, so if you click on that, or actually if students have this enabled um, in their Google Meet app on their account, okay, you they click on this and the teacher can see that they raise their hand, okay, which is pretty neat. And they can also do some emojis in here while you're in the Meet session. Might be pretty, might be pretty fun. Be pretty cool. Okay, so those are some of the the basic functions of Google Meet. And let's see, let me go back to my presentation. Um, like I said, these are some pre-recorded, some pre-recorded sessions here. Okay. Um, I went through on this next slide, I went through how to set up a Google Meet from a Google Calendar. Okay. What does that look like? That's really where Google um, Meet uh, kind of originated. Uh, Although not really, I mean, Google Hangouts, Google Hangouts used to be Google Meet, right? So Google Hangouts is that's where all this, the, the, the video conferencing and there was a chat function in Hangouts and that I actually still use that, um, that function to communicate with students. It's just, uh, you don't have to have their phone numbers with Google Hangouts. You just have their Stanford Public Schools account. Okay. And it actually looks like this. You can get it um it's just another app okay some teach some kids like to just text and that's what they do so anyway google hangouts used to be the text and the um, video conferencing and everything rolled into one and then as google likes to they separate stuff out so in this case that's what google decided to do so now google hangouts is its own uh app and google meet is this robust uh video conferencing app Okay, so that's how that's how they kind of change it there. Uh, I'm actually going to X this out because I think it's slowing down my oh perfect slowing down my uh, processing here. Okay, um, so Google Meet from Google Calendar. Here we go. Go into Google Calendar. Click on Create. Okay, I don't like this little this little small kind of um, thing that pops up. Click on More Options. And, you know, you make a title and you pick when you want this um, meet to happen. All right. I'm going to call it example. 
I kind of like making it sometimes with Google Calendar because it just uh, seems to be pretty awesome. Um, you can see everything that happens. You can, you know, basically set up a meeting. So I'm going to make this for May 4th. All right. And uh, you can also, you can change the time, you know, 10, 15. Um, you, if you only want it for like 45 minutes, you can go to 11. Um, make it however you want. Google, what, what Google will do is usually they'll either... Um, uh, It'll be um, they, they they basically what they do is they will either make your meeting either for thirty minutes or an hour or whatever, but you can make it however long you want. You can make it you know twenty five minutes if you want. Just put in whatever time. Okay. So here's here's my example. Okay. Now, if you want, this is how you add the Google Meet video conferencing, um, okay, to this to this event. So you click on here, all right? Click there. Click Google Meet up to two hundred fifty participants, okay? And like I said, once you add this, this is where you get the URL, okay? Um, and you can you know change it if you want to the numbers and stuff like this again. Uh, is very similar to how you create the meet um, from within the app itself. But this is kind of if you want to schedule a meet with other people and then you can add the people to it. Right. Something that I've talked with um, downtown about is getting the ability to live stream. Okay. Because we cannot live stream right now. And this is where this is actually where it will show up. Let me show you something real quick. Um, this is my other, this is my other account. This is my private account. So I could show you what it'll look like. Okay. When you create a different, um, when you create an event and you can, you have the ability to live stream. Um, it'll, like I said, it'll pop up down here. Now, why do you want to be able to do live stream? Live stream has, um, some advantages, you know, students can't interact uh, with it and, you know, kind of cuts down the need for, you know, distance learning classroom management, but also is a lot less bandwidth. So if we're concerned about, you know, students using up their data and things like that, a live stream, um, a live stream is actually a nice way where they won't use up all their data in one, you know, day. Okay. So live stream is pretty cool. The live stream can also be recorded. You can record the live stream and then you can post it um, as well. Okay. Um, live stream, I, I would look at it as like if you're going to read a book to your class or you're going to post some announcements or whatever. Um, it's a good synchronous way maybe even of having your students view what you're doing. Um, like I said, though, we just don't have we don't have access to it yet. Uh, it's something that they have to enable in um, the Google Admin con console. Okay, I have a a different account, um, biz a business account, so that's how I can access it. Uh, so you continue, you, you create the, create this whole thing within Google Calendar. All right, you can add guests, whoever you want. Okay, um, that has a Stanford Public Schools account. All right, and click on save, and once you click on save. Once you click on save here, right? That's nice. Uh, you can go back in here and you can edit it. You can delete it. You can copy. I like kind of like this, like I said, because you can copy it right here. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of this because I don't want it in my calendar because then I'll think it's something that it's not. All right. So that's kind of a quick little run through. This is a pre recorded session, once again, that's right in the slideshow presentation. So. It's right in there. Um, Google Meet from Google Calendar. Google Meet and Google Classroom. All right. So once again, this is a pre-recorded session as well. Um, a little video here that's embedded right in the Google Slideshow. Um, you're going to go to classroom.google.com to get to this. And you're going to go over here to class settings. And um, I'll show you what that looks like. Now, I've already selected it. So... It's not going to say generate meet link in here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, if you go to classroom, right? Um, 
So you click on the class. Let me, let me, let me do it in real time here. Um, you click on the class here that you want it in. And then you click on the settings, right? Um, go down and scroll down. And the settings that you're looking for are your general settings for your class. Where you see the, the class code and all the other settings that you um, all the other settings that you have for your uh, basically your class. Okay. So here you go. This is where the Google Meet um, session for um, your Google Classroom can be enabled, right? Right down here. Now, like I said, if, if you haven't done this before for your classroom, you're going to have this little button here. It's going to say generate Meet link. Okay. I've already clicked on that, so I already have a Meet link. All right. And once you re-click on it, you can copy it. You can reset it. Um, now, if you reset it, it's going to generate a new link. You can you'll see what happens right here. Okay, it generated a new link, and you can also say that you want this visible to students. Okay, I do want it visible to students, so I'm going to keep it visible to students. Now, what's neat about this is when you go into uh, when you have this available, and this is obviously where it'll be displayed. Okay, um, the meet link goes right up here. Now, there's a there are a little there's a little bit more controls for Google Meet from Google Classroom. All right, um, the controls are that, and you can obviously see that the URL looks a little different as well. Okay, you click on it, and you don't have to switch an account because you know you're already in the Stanford Public Schools account, which is great. Um, what are we looking at here? Come on. Okay. You could you'll also notice right away that it has a unique little code associated with it. Okay. Once again, this is because this is this is the Google Meet link generated directly from Google Classroom. So it has a very nice, has a very nice secure way of um, you know providing you maybe I hope an extra level of security. Um, students were kicking teachers out and um, of the of their own. Uh, Google Meet sessions, and they're also muting teachers. So Google has said that they have taken care of all that. So um, hopefully that's the case. Now, once you click on this link from Google Classroom, right, students can, students can join now, but I've been told that they cannot join before you click the link. So you click the link, then students can join like as soon as you click that link they can click on join now um so hopefully that is the case and hopefully you know if you're concerned about students being in there um you you know before you you can just make this you can just make that instead of being visible to students you can just click you know off there now it's not visible okay um, like I said, you could do that from, from the settings. Okay. So the settings are here. There we go. Um, this is your unique code for the Google meet, uh, from Google classroom. I just click there. Okay. And then you can click on join now and go into that meet that way. All right. So it's kind of cool. They, you know, Google likes to respond to user feedback. So hopefully these are settings that people want. All right. Um, you know, there's more control over stuff now, especially from Google Classroom when you go make a classroom meet uh, link and all that stuff. Um, here we go. So that is some general settings, some um, um, Google Calendar settings, Google Classroom settings. And then down at the bottom here, I put some helpful links. Okay. So these links are direct links to... Um, the support pages for Google. Google. So if you have any questions, you know you can look through there too. Um, this is that this is that app that I was talking about before, where you can get the you know the inside the Google Meet session you can get the little hand raising thing. So that brings you this link brings you directly to the Chrome Web Store. Okay, and this is actually um, this little pre recorded video goes directly with that that nod reaction thing. 
So, and here's a little quick survey. Last slide. I actually have some really boring videos here of using this other app called Kami to solve, to work out some geometry problems. And that's a YouTube video. Okay, so I go through the process there. And then I also um, did a, another video about using Google Canvas to solve some um, problems. I just, I, I put these videos in here because it's a cool way to kind of use some free tools to um, do math problems. Math is always kind of a, a difficult um, thing to do um, remotely because, you know, you have to draw all these things. It's better, it's better basically on, on um, uh, pencil and paper. Okay, using pencil and paper, it's, it's, to be honest, it is kind of better. But there are some tools to, free tools now that you can use um, in Chrome to basically do the same thing. And I show those in these videos here. Okay, um, this video is a little bit longer than I wanted to, and I actually did. I left my face up here the whole time, so that's cool, I guess. So, like I said, I'm going to post this in the Google Classroom in this West Hill Teachers for eLearning, and um, I hope you enjoy. Please always make sure, guys, if you want to uh, reach out about anything, to uh, reach out, and you know I can uh, do some training with anybody that wants it. Okay. All right. Have a great day. It's going to be another beautiful day. We're getting, we're kind of lucking out. We're getting some beautiful weekends. Um, last, I think Sunday was very nice and yesterday was nice. Today's, today's nice as well. So enjoy. Bye-bye.